And get the ball straight down to her. Aurora across Victoria Park and we're set to go. The Pies and the Ds back at Victoria Park and a huge contest as Mithin came in off the wing there. Melbourne will look to work it forward. Paxman, a 298th possession in AFLW. Ford for Mithin, who's clean. Just couldn't get boot to ball. And Kiochi setting the agenda early for the Pies. To Grant. Just tow it forward. Standing there and wait and getting the clearing kick will be Emerson for the D. Zanka presents. Slapped out of her hands by Livingston, but Zanka recovered. Dees won't be able to work this forward. And Shelly Scott was mugged. Lambert, so impressive last week, sends a kick high and well read in flight by Meg Downey. To get that front position, also. I'm going to say day off the back of the stoppage here. Hall read the Hines tap and then stood up in the tackle. Good pressure from Allen. Hall goes again. O'Day. Just a disciplined kick to the advantage of Cunningham. Wanted the free, trapped it. Off to Paxman. Dees won't get the start they want, but they have the first. Play. And the Melbourne defenders just watching play and simply taking front position. And so they're not too worried about yeah, that, are they? Newman swept onto it. The kick was to the advantage of Cunningham, and that time the breeze worked. She had good unselfish play, and maybe with that breeze, mm. might have added five or ten to the requirement. So Karen Paxman will get her second shot. Melbourne with the lion's share of possession so far. Can they get something to show for it? Paxman this time pulls the kick left. Just goes to show uh, in this game. All the way to the wing. Woodland can gather. Got support at the back. Scott just divides a couple of pies into space. Needs a target forward. Brazzle committed. Staying down was gay. Allen into her side and eventually winning the footy. That handball received backwards, so it's giving Melbourne a really good look for. Handball free. Pierce slapped it. Lambert there to gather. Back to Allen. She's in trouble. Good tackle, Newman. Had to be rewarded and is. Alicia Newman, including one last week against the Dockers. And there's your explanation of the breeze. Coming across the side. So right now, Peter Searle with your coaching hat on. Is on her first interaction, Benici made her teammate work then in Goulay. Good pressure at the source from the Pies. They're being made to work hard. Row flies through. Paxman, Allen over the top of her as well. It's all long quite a lot. And the smother from Christmas in the 2017-18 preseason. 587 days since her last game in VFLW. Pies work it forward. Can Lambert create something? Scott working it to the line. Pies have their first score. Go for it. You would like to see that ball either hit up a target or go a little bit deeper. It was a little bit shallow there. Can through traffic. Ball bounces and Cordner sees it through, so we're tied at two. The, almost the one hand to Darcy. Lurking out the back, Lambert couldn't gather. McIntosh will gather and ride Mithin into the turf. Right back out here, Chelsea. And yeah. as a defender, how does that make you feel? Oh, look, uh, I guess as a defender, when it's coming back inside that Ford 50, it's hard. Paxman from the boundary, needing help from the breeze. And a third behind. Good. But uh, the pressure there from Melbourne was sensational. Lauren Pierce to O'Day, force it forward. Paxman into some clear air. So the difference between that one was a longer handball. Cunningham, maybe with the hands in the back, it won't matter. And Karen Paxman. Because, and shouldn't be, I mean, look, here she goes. Across the body, shot on goal. Off She's the stoppage. Right on cue, she has her first major of the afternoon. <laughs> Just yeah. strips her of the ball, doesn't she? Kicking over the head. Slap wide to a dangerous position. Hanks can gather. What can she do on the right? Bananas at forward. Clever play. And Lauren Pierce has been in everything. It's banana from um, Tyler Hanks. I mean, just puts it right into perfect. The D's have back to back goals. Lauren Pierce stretches the margin. Stop the lead a little bit. Right on her range into the breeze, you'd imagine. Brazel oh. leaves it for Allen this afternoon. and Dominant Melbourne midfield, Elise O'Day with the... Uh, Colin looking to kick long and straight all the time. You need to try and take, have courage to change the angles a little bit. Yeah, we haven't seen, and it might be... Because... Some applause for Ainsley Kemp on her return to AFLW. Excellent body work from Hoare on Livingston. Drops down. Yeah, watch this, perfect. I mean, just read the flight of the footy and just put her body right in line with the flight of the ball. She was top 10 in the competition for goals in her AFLW debut last season. Six goals, four. Got one last week. And again, if you're just joining us, Bernie Scott, a runner inside. Uh, in fact, it was Lampard going to Kemp. McIntosh there working hard. Lampard back to Emerson, charting a path through. Scott can set herself the co-captain. Won't get enough on it. Well read by Ruby Slicer.
but three calling the beat will here just really need to race it a bit hard and spread from Stoppy. Brazzle in a smart spot, finds their left boot. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the kick heading in the right direction with that break. Two quarters last week, scoreless in the second term here. We haven't added one yet. The end goes drop punt. It's plenty on it. They'll stay down the pies. Lambert was clever. Jacobson cleaned up and corner can dash away with athleticism. The seventh corner to grace the turf at Victoria Park. Runs through defensive 50. Kick is high, wide and out. Emerson couldn't trap the ball. Rowe head first. Zanka takes it to the turf. Showed a lot of replay. <laughs> Great courage to get the head over the footy. Friendly fire again continues to be the <laughs> kick. Lauren Pierce, she's having a day so far. 16 hitouts, six of them to advantage and a 50. Sometimes, you know, make or break. Yeah, oh, and Lauren Lauren Pierce goes the handball on the siren. Oh. Wasn't aware of the time left. Yeah, or the runners need to get out there. Different and hopefully can hurt something now. Oh, closest play to goal was Slicer, and there's Melbourne players darting forward here if they win it. O'Day will do it. Thunders the handball forward in hope. Stretching onto it is Hoare. Didn't go off the ground. She had Mithin further afield as she wanted her. Regathers. Slicer there to stop her in her tracks. And the D's are just denied what would have been almost a certain third goal. Uh, Sarah Darcy, she's probably needed in a couple of places too. Like she's hitting up right up there. But Scott's kick, O'Day. Oh, Excellent smother. A goal saving one perhaps from Lambert, who's done some very hard work and follows up with a good strong tackle. In half Lambert, if she, that counts as another one off the ground. Myth and tackled by the Irish woman in row. And a high one will go the way of the Pies. And Sarah Darcy's had her most significant involvement in the game in this last four minutes. Mark. Hall paddles it forward. Contest coming. Slicer comes to meet it. Big ball to win here. Newman bodied. Goulet out of it and can get the ball on the right. Snap around the body, misses right. On it too much today. The goal kick is O'Day and Pierce out of the midfield. Paxman can claim the mark if she wants it. Will work it forward. Chance for Hanks. <laughs> Coral in the town. Tyler Hanks hails from has about 240 people according to the last sentence. They've now got an AFLW star in the making. <laughs> Paxman. Shrugs the shoulders into space. Kick not quite to the advantage of Cunningham. Foot race against Slicer. Couple of ex-basketballers. Slicer with some soccer work. And tries to go again. Bodied out of it. Phillips. Hanks. Free kick will come back and go the way of Phillips. Dips. Here she's trying to kick this on the breeze. Leighton over the top. Brazzle at the fall. Hanks the strong tackle. Dangerous times here. Leighton. Ross. Cunningham will see her through. Back to Paxman. Screws the kick around her body. Fist from Livingston. Slicer tries to get it out of there. Hanks for a second. Oh, yes. No. Misses right. She deserved it. And again, the cleanliness in traffic, Peter, of Tyler Hanks in Collingwood's With a follow -up work here. AFLW Best Collins. and Ferris after round twos. Deserves to either kick or set up their first goal. Goes long. McIntosh with a couple to beat. At the fall off the ground, Dargan needs to go again. She goes off the ground, and the Pies are finally on the board. And the crowd loves it. <laughs> Possessions, 19 kicks. She's, she's been a life wire for them, hasn't she? But um, it was originally the mark on the wing, and then willingness just to run on and play on to Ash Brazel. Who knew then got it to to chop to got a handball received, broke the line. So it actually put the Melbourne defence under pressure and Melbourne in the forward line. Shani Leighton throwing her weight around, this time on the opposition. She earns the free kick, but also a blood nose for her troubles as well. And you mentioned it a couple of minutes ago, Peter, you can see the football education happening before our very eyes. This last 15 minutes or so of play as she's been back around the football and in the ruck's been her best. And for Darcy, kick off the side of her boot, it might work. Kiyochi had to wait an eternity for it. Mown down by Jacobson in the process. And there are those for me of Victoria Park boos. Now, will this be 50? Game well, Peter. Into the breeze. Is this beyond her? No, she's certainly gettable at this goal. Tumbles the kick forward and it's wide and out. So, kept alive. Low and strong goes Ross. Hanks clean again. Mithin 
Kick forward. Closest play to goal is Allen. Oh. She needs to mow this down. It's bouncing. Stop. Newman keeps it alive. Play allowed to go on. Zanka off two goals last week. Looking for a first today. Won't get it. Guess who? Ash Brazzle there to relieve. The noon. O'Day's kick wide. Can they find a late one? Gay trapped at the back. Rushing through his hands. It's been a great debut. Or his second, second game, in fact. Hoar denied. Strong tackle. Slicer. Hines. Melbourne maybe with one last chance if Cordner can be clean. Kick comes off her line. Miffin. That's Hoare, in fact. He slid into some clever spaces this afternoon. Not long left now. Hard kick into the breeze. Hines low down. Can't take the mark. Flips it into space. And it's probably apt, but it was Tyler Hanks with the last touch. She had a really huge influence on the contest. It was tough going, but the Ds are on the board in AFLW in 2019.